come back. All right, we're all set. I got these all boxed up, closed up all the gaps. There's a little bit of water got in. It's only about maybe six inches of water, so it's no big deal. Uh, the truck will be arriving. Got the concrete vibrator ready. It should all go pretty smooth, but the main thing I'm concerned about is have I ordered enough concrete? Because it doesn't seem like it's enough, but I've used mass, so we'll see. Well, the first truck arrives, and the weather's holding out for us pretty well on this day. This is the first time I've actually laid concrete, so, um, you know, practice always helps. So this first couple of holes, looking back on it, I can already see a couple of things I, I've started doing differently. So I load them up, vibrate the concrete in, and one thing I probably underestimated is just how quickly this concrete dries. So what I did is I filled them up, and you'll notice this first hole, the first two actually, I fill up and, and there's probably a bit much in there and rather than scrape it off there and then I leave it there thinking that you know when they're all full in 20 minutes or so I'll come back and I'll sort it out which is what I did but it's just more work what I should have done right here is just scrape most of that off anyways uh, it did work out it just meant it was a bit more extra effort so that's the first hole second hole and the third one is the deepest one so I wanted those real deep ones out the way first. Concrete went in, no problem. That that vibrator worked pretty well. And as I've said in the last video, I've lasered all of these formworks. So the height, the top of those formworks is the same all the way around. And, you know, it's probably not necessary, but I just think finishing these off properly and having them all level is just gonna make putting the columns up um, just so much easier. So then I just, progressively go around and finish them. As I said, this is the first time I've done it. It probably took me a bit longer than what it should have, but it turned out really well. Well, that's the first truck been, and it's gone perfectly. So I was a bit worried about the amount, but the mass was spot on. So, so far I've used four cubic meters. I've ordered another three and a half, which should just do this and be pretty spot on. This hole, about first meters full and then this was the deep hole 3.7 meters come out awesome there you have it we're getting there second truck load comes loaded in just the same uh, i was quite surprised actually with the amount that went in there and i, I really was uncertain i didn't think it was going to be enough but uh, in the end uh, the, the calculations I did did just work out perfect. Now you can see how I finished this one compared to the first one. <laughs> that makes life a lot easier. And here they are finished. So I'm really happy with the way these turned out. And like I said, this is just going to make the next step so much easier for me. nice and flat now after all that I ordered 7.5 cubic meters and that little patch of concrete there is all that was left over in the second truck and the first truck so very happy with that this is the next day just removing the formwork and you know they, they set real real good and I'll use those forms again for the next lot all up there's 31 holes to do believe it or not Well there's the first eight done and incredibly the weather's turned to crap again and there's a, a big downpour due tomorrow so I'm glad I got these done. I've really got to wait now another few days so this rain just seems to be relentless at the moment. Right well we're all set now for the next concrete truck. I dug the second lot of holes right after the rain and it was supposed to be forecast to rain again today so they got it pretty wrong it's an absolutely perfect day so luck's on my side hopefully things go well this is now a couple of days later 
I had some extra help on this day from one of my uncles who uh, has a lot more experience in concrete than me so it just made finishing this off so much easier. Uh, on this day, rather than do 8, we did another 12 so we're now up to 20 yeah. um, piers which is great and this day turned out to be quite hot. So there's the finishing of these ones. Beautiful job. Now after a hard day's work, there's nothing like having a barbie, putting a few snags on there and some onions, so that's what I did, just put some wood in there. Didn't take long for it to burn off. And a few snags. Onions always good. And uh, finished off what turned out to be a great day. And of course you've got to have a beer. So things have progressed pretty well at this point. The rain is still a battle. Um, I've pushed pretty hard. And what I did directly after this is I started dr drilling the next lot of holes. And they were the ones in the centre that they're not as deep. And I took a bit of a chance. So there was another six holes that I drilled. And you'll see them in a moment. The problem was the rain's come back again. So there's the next six holes. I've still got to put the Rio in. And uh, this was a couple of days ago and, and it's just too wet. So I don't want to take a risk with the truck. So I'm going to wait now till it dries off, finish these six holes. And after these six, there's five to go. And this will then be done and we'll get to the next stage. See you next time.